Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. My lesson today is the steps for solving systems of linear equations using elimination. So we're going to focus on the method elimination today. Here are our steps. Step one, to solve a system using elimination, if necessary, multiply one or both equations by a value so that at least one pair of like variable terms has coefficients that are the same or opposites. Step two, if the coefficients are the same, then we will subtract the equations. If the coefficients are opposites, then we will add the equations. Step three, we're going to solve the new equation that we've gotten after we've added or subtracted. Step four, we're going to substitute the value from step three, our solution from step three, into either of the original equations to find the value of the other variable. And step five, we're going to write our solution as an ordered pair, and we are going to check to be sure that that solution is true for both equations. So let's begin by solving one together. I'm going to solve this one using elimination, and I'm going to add. Adding is my favorite method for elimination. I feel like there's less room for error, and if it's at all possible, I add the two equations. But in today's video, I will model both ways. So I look and I have y has a coefficient of positive one and negative one. They're opposites. So if I add these equations together, this is a zero pair leaving me x plus x is 2x and 12 plus 4 is 16. Divide both sides by 2 and x is equal to 8. Bring the 8 back to this first equation and we're going to replace x with 8. So now I have 8 plus y equals 12. Subtract 8 from each side and y is equal to 4. So my ordered pair that is my solution is 8, 4. But now let's check. 8 plus 4 is 12. 8 subtract 4 is 4. It checks. Remember, if you graph, this is the point where these two lines will intersect. Your turn. I would like you to pause the video here, solve this system using elimination, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So I identify that y the variable y in the first equation has a coefficient of positive 3 and in the second a coefficient of negative 3. These are opposites. If I add these equations, I have a zero pair. 4x minus 2x is 2x and 9 and negative 3 are 6. Divide both sides by 2 and x is equal to 3. I'm going to take this 3 and replace x in my first equation with 3. So 4 times 3 plus 3y equals 9, my first equation, and I'm evaluating for x being 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Now to get 3y alone, I'm going to subtract 12 from each side. 12 subtract 12 is 0, leaving me 3y equals 9 subtract 12, which is negative 3. Divide both sides by 3, and y is equal to negative 1. So my solution is the ordered pair 3, negative 1. Let's check. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 12 plus negative 3 is 9. Now I have negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then subtract positive 3. Negative 6 and positive 3 are negative 3. So my solution checks and is valid for both equations. Now I'm going to model elimination using subtraction. So I'm identifying that my x coefficients are different values. I look at my y coefficients and they're both positive 1. So now this is set up for subtraction. If I subtract y, subtract y is a zero pair. But when we subtract, we're going to add the opposite. And this is where it gets tricky. We are subtracting each like pair. So I'm going to add opposite, opposite, opposite. So 4x and 2x are 6x. y 
and negative y are 0, and 18 and negative 6 are 12. Divide both sides by 6, and x is equal to 2. Replace 2 and 4x in the first equation, and evaluate. 4 times 2 is 8, subtract 8 from each side, and y is equal to 10. So my ordered pair is 2, 10. Now let's check. My original equation, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 10 is 18. It checks. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, negative 4, add 10 is 6. Remember, we're ignoring my red positive and negative. We're going back to the original equation to check. Now it's your turn. I would like you to solve this system using elimination. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we're going to look at our coefficients. 6 and negative 2 are not the same. But, and then I have 2 and 2 for y. So they are the same. So I'm going to subtract. When I subtract, I'm going to add the opposite to all the terms in the second equation. So add opposite, opposite, opposite. 6x and 2x are 8x. 2y and negative 2y are 0. 10 and negative 2 are 8. Now let's divide both sides by 8. x is equal to 1. Place x in that first equation with 1 and evaluate. 6 times 1 is 6 plus the 2y equals 10. Subtract 6 from both sides and 2y is equal to 4. Divide both sides by 2 and y is equal to 2. Our ordered pair, our solution is 1, 2. Let's check. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 2 times 2 is 4 and 6 plus 4 is 10. The second equation was negative 2x, so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, plus 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. So it checks. Remember, this negative sign was when I subtracted one equation from the other. That's why I always do it in red. Now let's look at one where our step 1 is necessary. So when I go to evaluate to use elimination, it's set up perfectly for elimination because my x variables, my y, and my constant terms are all lined up perfectly. But when I look at the variable terms for x, their coefficients are not the same or opposite. And when I look at the coefficients for y, they're also not the same or opposite. So it's going to be necessary to solve by elimination that I have to manipulate one or both of these equations so that they have coefficients of one variable that are the same or opposite. So I can identify that if I multiply every term in the second equation by 3, then my coefficients of y are going to be opposite. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to rewrite our first equation, and now let's multiply every term in the second by 3. So we will have 6x plus 6y equals 54. So what I do to one term, I must do to all. All right, so now I can identify that the y terms have coefficients that are opposites, so I'm going to add 5x plus 6x is 11x, my zero pair, and 1 plus 54 is 55. Divide both sides by 11, and x is equal to 5. Let's take this back up to our first equation. 5 times 5 for x. Subtract 6y equals 1. So 25 subtract 6y is 1. Subtract 25 from each side, giving me negative 6y is equal to negative 24. Divide both sides by negative 6, and y is equal to 4. So a solution, ordered a pair of 5, 4. Let's check. 5 times 5 is 25, subtract 24, 25 subtract 24 is 1. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 times 4 is 8, 10 plus 8 is 18, so it checks. Now it's your turn. I would like you to solve using elimination. Go ahead and pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So we looking at our coefficients, our coefficients of x are not the same or opposite, and our coefficients of y are not the same or opposite. So I look at this and I notice that if I multiply every term in the first equation by 3,
then we will have coefficients that are the same. You may have also decided to do a different method, and that's fine. Let's check to see how we did. So I'm multiplying every term here by 3 to get 3x subtract 12y equals 6. Subtract. Now, because we have coefficients that are the same, so I'm going to subtract this equation from this one. So add opposite, opposite, opposite. 3x subtract 3x is 0. Negative 12y and negative 5y are negative 17y, and 6 and negative 40 are negative 34. S divide both sides by negative 17, and y is equal to positive 2. I'm going to bring this 2 up into the first equation for y. So x subtract 4 times 2 is equal to 2. x subtract 8, and then we add 8 to each side, and x is equal to 10. For an ordered pair, don't forget, this one turned out we solved for y first, so it's 10, 2. Let's check it. 10 subtract 8 is 2. 30 plus 10 is 40. It checks. All right, here's one for you. In order to solve for elimination, we're going to have to multiply both equations by a value so that we have coefficients that are alike or opposite. So I'm looking and I'm going to multiply the first equation every term by 2 and the second equation every term by 5. Somebody else might look at this and multiply the first one by 3 and the second one by 7. One's not more correct than the other, it's just a matter of preference. So let's go ahead and do this. If I multiply every term by 2, I get 14x subtract 10y equals 38. And here I'm going to multiply every term by 5, giving me 15x minus 10y equals 30. Now I have coefficients that are the same. When they're the same, we subtract. So I'm going to change this to add opposite, opposite, opposite. So now these are opposites and are 0. 14x and negative 15x are negative 1x, 38 and negative 30 are positive 8. Divide both sides by negative 1, and x is equal to negative 8. I'm going to go back up to my first original equation. You could use the second one. It's a matter of preference. 7 times negative 8 for x, which is negative 56. Now I'm going to add 56 to each side, and that gives me negative 5y equals 75. Divide both sides by negative 5, and y is equal to negative 15, giving me a solution of negative 8, negative 15. And I'll let you go ahead and check that. It works. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause the video here and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So hopefully you chose to multiply each equation by a factor. I'm going to multiply the first one by 5 and the second one by 4. You could have multiplied the first one by 7 and the second one by 3 to get these to be the same or opposite. When I do that, I get 20x minus 15y equals negative 100 and 20x minus 28y equals negative 256. So these are the same. I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to add the opposite, opposite, opposite. So this is my zero pair. Negative 15y and 28y are positive 13y, and negative 100 and positive 256 are positive 156. Divide both sides by 13, and y is equal to 12. Go ahead and evaluate the first equation when y equals 12. 4x subtract 36 equals negative 20. Add 36 to both sides, and 4x equals 16. Divide both sides by 4, and x is equal to 4, giving me a solution of 4, 12. Don't forget to go back and plug it in and make sure your ordered pair checks. And there you have it. Those are the steps for solving systems of linear equations using elimination. Don't forget to check your work. Thanks for joining me here at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day.